Hello, this is Wesley Fryer, and this is a short narrated slideshow created with the iPhone application Sonic Pix to tell a story about a wonderful dinner, certainly a memorable dinner, that I had with a few friends here in Shanghai, China for the Learning 2011 conference on September the 9th, 2011. This is a photograph of the Kentucky Fried Chicken that is very close to our hotel, and we actually opted not to eat here in the Kentucky Fried Chicken, thanks to encouragement from Darren Kerpatwa, who I think would uh, not feel it appropriate and right to eat Kentucky Fried Chicken when we're here. But as you can see in this next image and photograph, the menu at Kentucky Fried Chicken is not really chicken. This is a rice and beef dish, not something you would necessarily expect in Kentucky Fried Chicken. So we did not opt to eat here. What we opted for instead was the hot pot restaurant that was located next door. And so I've got a series of images here kind of showing you our meal. This is Darren putting some spice into one half of the hot bowl that was in the center of our table that was on a heating element and eventually boiled, and this is where we cooked our food, and one side was the spicy side. This is that dish after we had stirred in the the spice, and uh, there were some other vegetables that were kind of floating in, in this, and this was the beer that we ordered. It was actually 70 cents U.S. It was incredibly cheap. I do not know how Tsingtao beer is this cheap in China, but it is. This is the tray that contained all the food, uh, which uh, Jess McCullough ordered. Um, Jess is from Australia, but studied Chinese a couple years in college and spent a year in Nanjing and is, I think, very fluent, uh, certainly a lot more than uh, any of the other folks at our table. And so she ordered a bunch of things, um, some lamb, some beef, uh, some potatoes, some dumplings, uh, some cucumber, and a mystery meat, which I will show you later, that uh, was definitely the surprise of the night. Here we've got our meat kind of sitting next to the hot pot, and the process was to take chopsticks and put the meat in. It only took maybe mm, 10 or 15 seconds, actually, uh, so I think I left mine in a little bit longer, for the meat to cook, and then you would go ahead and eat it. So here you can see Darren putting in think some Brussels sprouts, dumping those out, and those veggies just kind of cooked in the middle. It's a little bit like fondue, if you've had a, like a broth fondue. It's really kind of similar to that concept. Uh, here Darren is putting in the dumplings that are cooking in the hot pot. And this is the mystery meat. And I think Jess just kind of accidentally ordered this. We are pretty sure this is frog. And no, to my knowledge, none of us actually ate this, although Darren did cook this at the end of the meal and kind of examined it. I, I don't think that he actually tasted it. So I was definitely going to pass on having some hot pot cooked frog. This, without a doubt, was the highlight of the meal. This was actually before we were starting to eat. A little boy named Roy came up and said hello and had a wonderful conversation with us. He was actually looking at some pictures from our uh, Christmas trip when our family went to Pagosa Springs, and we were, we were talking, and uh, I think Jess got some video of this that I'll try and share uh, and maybe attach to, to this blog post. If you're seeing this um, on a blog post, I'll, I'll add, to add it to the YouTube channel as well. But it was really, really fun. Uh, he's in kindergarten, and what awesome English skills he had. Just super, and it was just great to have this conversation with him. So that's the story of our memorable hot pot dinner here in Shanghai, China in September of 2009.